Hey, I'm Kuhn. I'm the keyboard player for Epica. We're currently in Chicago on tour with Sabaton and we're having a great time. I wanted to show you my gear. <laughs> so as uh, my main keyboard, I'm using uh, the Roland FA-08. It's basically uh, a complete keyboard, but I actually only use it to get the sounds from uh, my Integra module, also by Roland. Um, I have all my sounds programmed under these green buttons. They are big and they are really comfy, so it's easy to get like when it's dark, right? You have to play them, change sounds fast, so I use the big buttons. That's what I, that's what I like about this keyboard. And then, uh, because I have a, a 360 rotating stand, as you can see, it's all wireless. So I have a little wireless MIDI device, uh, which communicates with the module. It's, uh, there's one on the back too. And then my uh, technicians had to like come up with a, some sort of a, a self-made battery pack thing to have the keyboard uh, on power. Same goes for the sustain pedals. Normally they are um, you know, connected to the back. But now they go all uh, wireless. Uh, our uh, tech, uh, Arjan, he invented this basically. It wasn't uh, on the market at all. But you know, I have to be able to spin it around uh, multiple times and not getting the wires cut and stuff. The stand is custom made. I had it made in uh, the Netherlands. It's actually very old. Uh, but we had a few uh, adaptations. Uh, this is my travel stand for if we go uh, overseas, because we're a European band, of course, and uh, back home, my keyboard is on a rail. It's just, I have the same sort of stance, so it's like a big, heavy pipe, uh, and I really need that, because if it's not heavy enough, it will crash. And, um, you know, it went, it went through various stages when developing it, so we kind of, it, it is, you know, it's a concept that's been there forever, the, the rotating, but uh, I, you know, sometimes I'm a little wild, so I uh, pushed off the keyboard or it's spin off. So now we actually have it screwed under <laughs> onto this uh, steel uh, plated uh, yeah, layer. I don't know how, how, how to say it, but so we made sure that it's as steady as it can be. So it doesn't really, you know, you can do whatever you want. It will not fall down and you can spin it and be wild actually, or I even kick the keyboard, it doesn't really matter. The way it's set up uh, with the sustain pedals is that I can use them wherever I stand. So basically, of course, normally I'm facing the crowd. But I like to move around. Uh, in Europe, I've got a whole rail that goes all over the stage. But here I can just play wherever I want. But of course, in this side, I would be missing a sustain pedal. So I need one here. It's all the same. And of course, I need one here. And you know, normally I, uh, I spin the stuff and I, I jump around and uh, do the little dances. You know, because I can and it's fun. It makes me more, uh, uh, I think, more special as a keyboard player to not be standing still. That brings me to my next keyboard actually, which is this one. It's the great Revo by New Motion. And it's uh, uh, also a MIDI control controller, so it actually communicates with the same sound module. But this you can uh, put on and you can actually walk around on the whole uh, stage. And it's ergonomically formed for your hands. So actually this is easier for your wrists to play than uh, on a normal piano. Uh, and it looks uh, funny. So uh, I'm, I'll be playing this on mainly on two songs, uh, not the whole time. You know, just, just to keep it a little bit special. But it's really cool because I can walk around on stage. I even do some crowd surfing at certain songs while playing it. And uh, you know, it's just a great instrument. I really love it. I actually only use this keyboard when uh, I don't have to change sounds that much because I don't have the big buttons here. So uh, there are a few songs <clears throat> when there, there's only strings, for instance, what I play, and then I can easily move around. I don't have to think about, you know, uh, also switching sounds, but also uh, trying to uh, uh, be playing good and looking cool. So I use this uh, on the certain songs that are easier to play, but also songs that are uh, uh, enabling me to actually go into the crowd or you know have, have a little bit more uh, space to interact with the crowd. For monitors, we use uh, in-ears, custom-made in-ears by Eris Audio from Holland. Uh, Sen Sennheiser bell packs, they're already there. And for backing tracks, we use this great machine. It's uh, a really easy machine. 
just pe press play and uh, with every song. Normally my own tech does it, but he couldn't make this tour, so yeah, uh, I have to do it myself this tour. That's all good. All choirs and uh, extra orchestral stuff, it's on there. Thank you for checking out my gear. Uh, be sure to check out our website www.epica.nl to see all the tour dates where we come over. You know, we have great tours planned, awesome stuff. Uh, our new EP is coming out really soon. We celebrate our 20th anniversary, so there's a lot to discover. Hope to see you.